Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of estimating fractional sums and differences. This is standard 4.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 of the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Martha bought a new box of cereal and one week she ate and here's a strange fraction for us, four ninths, we don't see that very often. So which is closest to the fraction of cereal she had left? So she had a box of cereal, we can just kind of make a little strip diagram to figure this out here. So she had a full box. This is how much she ate, so she ate four ninths. And this is how much she left. Well, if we just go ahead and put it in ninths, she had one whole box, which is also one whole is the same as just nine ninths. We can choose any fraction we want to to represent that whole. And so we can say we've got nine ninths minus the four ninths she ate. There we go. So that's going to give us five ninths left. So that makes sense. She's got five ninths left, but we're just estimating what is this five ninths near? So the five ninths is going to be either less than a quarter, less than a half, about a half, or about a fourth. So let's see what we have here. If we are looking at our five ninths, one thing we need to see here is that anything that is equal to a half, see how it's close to five tenths. Anything equal to a half has a numerator that is exactly half of the denominator, right? So five tenths, four eighths, three sixths, two fourths, one half. They all, and you can keep going all the way up, right? So what we're looking for is this five ninths. Is it about a half, or it could be less than half? And if we double our our numerator we would get to 5 tenths, right? But you notice that our 5 ninths, if we take something and we break it up into nine pieces, so let's say we broke this up into nine pieces, and then we broke up this other one here into 10 pieces, you're gonna notice that the nine pieces are gonna be a little bit bigger than each of our tenths, simply because we took the same whole, we broke this into nine pieces, we broke this into 10 pieces, and if it's the exact same whole, each of these pieces, ninths are a little bigger because it's the same area. We just broke them into one less piece. So if we, then if we took our five pieces out of this nine, it's going to be a little bit bigger than our 10. If we were to kind of go like this, we could kind of estimate this as about five ninths and five tenths, simply because our nine pieces are going to be a little bit bigger in each of them than our ten pieces, and we keep our numerator the same. So we can actually say we know that our five ninths is going to be a little bit bigger than our five tenths, once again because these ninth pieces are a little bit bigger than the tenths. So Let's see if we can look at some of our answer choices. Well, it's not going to be F, less than a quarter. So a quarter, one-fourth, I'm going to draw the same shape here. That's a half, and a quarter is a half of a half. This is an easy way to make fourths. So that's a fourth. So this five-ninths is definitely not less than a fourth. And you see how it's not less than a half. We just went through this whole thing to say five-ninths is a little bit bigger than a half. So it's not going to be G. It's a little bit more than a half, but they don't really give us that option. The only two options they say are about a half, so it's close to a half, or about a fourth, and we know it's not about a fourth. So even though a better answer probably would be more than a half, the one that we have left is going to be H. About half of the cereal was left.